What's up, you freaking genius dudes? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to expand and condense logarithmic expressions, right? So I'm going to start with a, a few problems, actually, where I'm going to expand first, and then I'm going to do a few condensed problems. All right, so let's start with the first one right here, log base 3 of 4x. So we want to expand this bad boy right here. So as you can see, we basically have two terms right here, 4 and x. So we're multiplying, right? And whenever you're multiplying two terms right here, you can break them up. So this is going to be equal to log base 3 of 4 plus, right? So when you multiply, you add, right? So this is plus log base 3 of x. Okay, so that would be that one in expanded form. Now let's go to the next one. So log of 10x to the fifth, okay? So again, you can see we're multiplying some terms together here, right? So we have 10 and x to the fifth. Now, the other thing you might notice is we don't have a little number right here, right? So whenever that number is missing, it's actually implied that there's a 10 right there, okay? So we could rewrite this as log base 10 of our first term, which is 10. And then again, we're multiplying here, so we're going to say plus log base 10 of our second term, which is x to the fifth. Okay, now... Uh, this first term, this first log, we can actually simplify, right? Because as you can see, we have basically log base 10 of 10, and that's equal to 1. And the way that you know that is because, well, it's like saying, okay, this number raised to what power is equal to this number? Well, 10 raised to the first power is equal to this number, right? So then this log is simply equal to 1. Okay, if you need a little reminder on how to solve logs, I'll link that video in the card above and description below, all right? But this is equal to 1, so we have 1 plus this guy, and you can see that there's an exponent here, right? So whenever we have an exponent, you can actually throw it out in front of the log. So this guy is going to simplify to 5 times log base 10 of x. Okay, and we can simplify that one more time, uh, and we can say that this is equal to 1 plus 5 log, and we can ignore this 10, right, and just hide it like it was originally, so we'll hide it again, and just write x, all right, so this is equal to 1 plus 5 log of x. All right, next one, we have a natural log, so we have the natural log of 6x squared over y to the fourth. So as you can see, we have a fraction here, right, we're dividing. So to break up a fraction or division, you need to subtract these two terms. So we're going to say that this is equal to the natural log of the first one, or the top one, 6x squared, minus the natural log of the bottom one. So natural log of y to the fourth, okay? Now, here we have the log of two numbers, right? We have or two terms, 6 and x squared, so we can break up this multiplication with a plus sign, right? So then this is going to be equal to the natural log of 6 plus the natural log of x squared. And then we still have minus the natural log of y to the fourth. All right. So this is already simplified. Here, again, you can see we have an exponent, right? So we can throw it out in front of the log. And same thing over here. We have an exponent, so we can throw it out in front of the log. So then this is going to be equal to the natural log of 6 plus 2 times the natural log of x minus 4 times the natural log of y, right? So that's what we get in expanded form. Now let's do this last fat boy down here. So we have down here log base 5 of the cube root of x squared times y. Wow, that's disgusting. All right, and I'm actually going to write it up here. So when we're working with logs, you normally don't want to work with radicals, right? Square roots, cube roots, whatever. With logs, it's easier to work with exponents, right? So let's turn this cube root into an exponent. So instead of taking the cube root of x squared times y, uh, this would be the same thing as x squared times y all raised to the one-third power. Let's do that. Let's rewrite it like that. So we're going to get log base 5 of x squared times y all raised to the one-third, right? 
Now what we can do is distribute this exponent, right? Apply it to what's inside of the parentheses. So we're going to multiply it by the 2, and then we're going to multiply it by, well, there's basically a 1 right here, right? y to the first. So then this is going to simplify down to log base 5 of, and then 2 times 1 third is equal to uh, x to the 2 thirds, and then times y raised to the 1 times 1 third is 1 third. Okay, now what you can see is we're multiplying two terms together, right? x to the 2 thirds and y to the 1 third. So how do we split up multiplication? We just put a big plus sign, right? So we're going to say that this is the same thing as a log base 5 of x raised to the 2 thirds plus log base 5 of y raised to the 1 third. Okay, now again, when we have an exponent, we can just throw it out in front of the log, right? So then here we're going to get 2 thirds times log base 5 of x plus uh, 1 third log base 5 of y, right? So that's completely broken down and expanded, so that would be our answer right here. All right, now let's condense a few logarithms. So starting at the top, we have log base 4 of 7 minus log base 4 of 10. So we have the same log bases, right? Log base 4, log base 4. And we're subtracting, so that means we can turn our numbers over here into a fraction. So this is going to be equal to log base 4, and then the first number we write on top, so 7 over the second number, which is 10. Okay, so that would be our answer here. And we'll make a little room. Now, the second one, we have 6 times the natural log of x plus 4 times the natural log of y. Now, as you can see, we have numbers out here in front, right? So that means those are actually exponents. So uh, this 6 actually should go here, and this 4 should actually go here. So rewriting it, it would be the natural log of x to the 6th plus the natural log of y to the 4th. Okay, now these natural logs, we are adding them here, right? So that means multiplication, right? To stick them back together, we need to multiply them. So then this is going to be equal to the natural log of x to the 6th times y to the 4th. Okay, and we can put parentheses right there to clarify. So then this would be our answer here. All right, now let's go on to some kind of bigger ones here. So we have the log of 9 plus 3 times the log of 2 minus the log of 3. All right, well, let's see. We have, again, a number out here in front, so that means that's actually an exponent, so we can tack it on right there. So here we really have 2 cubed, and 2 cubed is equal to 8, right? So then this is equal to, just rewriting it, log of 9 plus the log of 8 minus the log of 3. So here, log of 9 plus log of 8, well, adding means we're multiplying, right? So then this part right here, we can condense down to log of 9 times 8, which is equal to 72. Right, so we have the log of 72 minus the log of 3. So here we're subtracting, so that means we can divide these two guys, right? So then here we really have the log of 72 divided by 3, which is equal to the log of 24. All right, there's your answer. All right, the last one here is log base 3 of 4 plus 2 times the log base 3 of 1 half plus the log base 3 of x. And I'm going to move this one up here, just so we have some extra room again to work. So the first thing we can do again is we see an, a number out here in front, so that means that's an exponent, right? So that's the exponent to this guy right here, okay? So then if we simplify this, we're going to get log base 3 of 4 plus log base 3 of uh, one half squared, that's equal to one fourth, right? Just apply the exponent to the top and the bottom. So then this turns into one fourth, and then plus a log base three of x. Okay, so we have all the same logs, right? Log base three, log base three, log base three, 
and we're adding all these guys together. So that means we're going to multiply all of these numbers together, right? So then we can just write it as log base three of four times one fourth times X. All right, so then this is equal to log base three of, well, those cancel out. So we're just left with X, right? So we get log base three of X. So that's the final answer right there. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.